beautiful people. It's the unapologetic nomads where we are unapologetically nomadic. nomadic. That's right. Here today, family, we have a special episode for you all today for Black History Month. I say to the ancestors, peace to the family. Yes. And everybody like that family. It's a lot of people talking and chipping and chapping at the mouth. Oh, black Americans, they say they built America, but what are they building now? Well, hey, in this video, we gonna show you exactly what black Americans are building right now, family. So, before we go into the present day of what black Americans are doing in America and building in America. The beautiful wife is going to give you a brief history of how black Americans contributed in building America. The black American presence is very, very, very important all across the United States. And did you know the black Americans were responsible for establishing over 50 towns and settlements within the United States. And some of them, namely, are Nicodemus, Kansas, Boley, Oklahoma, the Mound Bayou in Mississippi. We also have Rosewood in the state of Florida, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Which was actually uh, destroyed by white supremacists, but yeah. Go. Yeah, as well as Seneca Village in New York which was stolen as well, yeah. Not to mention that the whole design for the city of Washington, D.C. was by a brilliant black man by the name of Benjamin Banneker. And he was so brilliant that his design actually aligned the city with the stars. Beautiful people, right now you are looking at one of the most heavily touristy <laughs> attractions <laughs> in Philadelphia right now, family. Now these steps, and this area right here is, is, is the Philadelphia Museum. This area is so popular and people come to Philly just to see this because it was in what movie? Rocky. That's right. <laughs> That's right. These are the famous <laughs> Rocky steps is what people say. But it's the Philadelphia Art Museum. Yes. Beautiful people. Yes. And what's so beautiful and lovely about this building is not only the architecture and, and, and just how beautiful it looks in the, in the long steps that I used to take Alo on long runs to <laughs> and the beautiful wife used to walk there and run from West Philly, shout out to West Philly, yes. and, um, but it was built by a brother, that's right, from Philly, okay. yeah, and his name is Julian Abele. Okay, so Ayla's gonna give you a little history on Julian Francis Abele. Yes. <coughs> Julian Francis Abele, April 30th to 1881. Why would you do it like that? No. <laughs> Julian Francis Abele, April 30th to 1881. So a minute ago, wow. Yeah. To yeah. April 23rd, 1950, was a prominent African American architect and chief designer in the offices of Horace Trump Bauer. Mm. He was the primary designer of the West Campus of Duke University in 1924 mm. to 1954. Mm. He contributed to the design of more than 400 buildings. My goodness. 400 buildings? Yeah. Man. Wow. Including the Widener Memorial Library at Harvard University. I've been there. Yeah. 1912 to uh, 1915. Hmm. Our cousin was born then. Uh. The Central Branch of the Free Library of Philadelphia, nice. 1918 to 1927. And the Philadelphia Art Museum, That's right. 1914 to 1928. Nice. Abele's contributions to the Trombauer firm were great, but the only building for which he claimed authorship during Trombauer's lifetime was the Duke University Chapel. Mm, wow, nice. Wow, cool. Wow. Cool pictures. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so that's interesting learning yeah. about who uh, uh, the architect of some of these buildings are because yeah. it's like we see these buildings, but we don't know. Yeah. A lot of people don't know the hands that actually built this or even exactly. designed it. Yes, the hands that put it together. People forget about the hands. You yeah, know? No. that's important. And and the the genius, the brain that actually uh, came up with the ideas. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some brilliant people. Yeah, we come from brilliant people. Yes, yes. we do. Yes, we yes. do. And we're saying that. Um. That's the past. Yeah. Those are the past builders. Okay. okay. So now we're going to go to uh, 
to the modern building. Hey, to see what's going on yeah, now. Yeah, you didn't know that just yet. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. feel like, oh, we uh, they ain't doing nothing over there. He's just killing each other and getting baby mamas. And... <laughs> all right. Well, still check, building. That's right. Still building. <laughs> all right. And, and, you know, with, with all odds against the still building family. Exactly. Yes. And, and check this out. All right. All right, family. So, first, we're going to take you to Detroit. Yes. Now, a lot of people is like, what's going on in Detroit? There's people out there building and doing things in Detroit, family. You know, despite our history of building and people tearing our things down, you know, yeah. we still build and do what we have to do, family. So, uh, this is Larry Brinker Sr., who is the owner of Brinker Company in Detroit. It's a big um, construction firm there, and we're gonna read uh, about a little bit about the owner, Larry Brinker. Yeah, so uh, Larry Brinker Sr. Uh, began his career as a carpenter apprentice and always had a desire to build yeah, something up. sports announcer. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, right. you know what, y'all got better voices than me. You do, you do a better job reading. You go ahead. It's hard for me to stop to not read it like that. I don't, when I read out loud, I, I, have to, I don't know when yeah, I you come put the voice with it. It, it okay. comes out like that. <laughs> Larry Brinker Sr. began his career as a carpenter apprentice and always had the desire to build something of his own. He worked his way up to opening his own small carpentry company in 1989 and today is owner and chairman of Brinker. He is an industry leader who has been involved in over $4 billion worth of construction projects. Now that's, that's amazing. amazing. Mm. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's I think we build it, yeah. right? Are we build? Okay. We build it, yeah. 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 If you want to know the website of this and you can read everything, it's brinkergroup.com. So yes. right now what we're going to do, family, we're going to look at a couple of the projects yes. that uh, the Brinker company worked on, managed or built and things of that kind of a nature. All right, let's see. Okay, look at that. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Let me look at that. The Alley Detroit Center. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Why well, ain't they doing nothing in Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> Chase hmm. Bank. The Chase okay, Bank. Now. Corktown. Wow. Man, that sounds like you could pop some wine in there or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> Corktown. All right, we got the Children's Hospital of Michigan. Wow. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, nice. and it's, it, it looks like a nice building where, where the sick young people just go, yeah. and, you know, get cured and, and healed from all of their... Uh, Diseases and ailments mm -hmm. and things. Fort Shelby Hotel. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, yeah, oh. now this, they, they built the Detroit Pistons oh. Performance Center. Yeah. Wow. I believe this is where wow. the Detroit Pistons <laughs> practice and things like that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. The value is $85 million. $85 million. Wow. Yeah. The value is. Nice. Yeah. I want this more pictures. Yeah, and it's more pictures. Cool. Yeah, more pictures. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Dang. so we're going to check out this. Look at that. Excellent. Nice. nice. Just classic. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. yeah, real modern. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Man. Look at that ceiling work. Wow. Man. <laughs> Ooh. Man. That's a nice practice area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hot tubs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. We see you. Man, we see you, Brinker. All right. Get into it. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. You see what else these brothers, uh, cool. sisters built. Man, look at that. Like Little Caesars Ooh. Arena. Little wow. Caesars. Mm. Wow. Is this a mall? Right. What is it? Is it me and the... I remember I ate Little Caesars before, right, when I was a bus driver. <laughs> And um, it didn't do me well at all. And I had to run off that bus. I ran, I had to run into the school before the, before the children ran again. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Is there more pictures? Wow. Yeah. All right. Wow. So, uh, Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mm. goodness. Look at that. Look. You see how wow. it just got the... Uh, Wow. The crispiness to the wall. Right. Crispy. Mm. Well. <laughs> curvature. Yeah, it's, it's a curvature, but it's like yeah, it's a, a modern Very crispiness. Different. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Mm. All right. So we have uh, Little Caesars. Um, mm -hmm. But shout out to Little Caesars. I like their pizza. It's just that one time pizza did me wrong. <laughs> Wayne State University. Oh, hey, wow. All right. All right, so we will go to the next black construction company, which is Powers and Sons. That's and we're going to... Huh? 
So we're going to uh, read about it. Who we are. Okay. Powers and Sons construction has been recognized by the American Institute of Architects, the Constructual, sorry, the Construction Advancement Foundation, the Chicago Building Congress, and Keep Indianapolis Beautiful, mm. among others, for our work. Mm. Powers and Sons is committed to excellence in our people and business endeavors. We strive to be in the top quartile of profitable industry leaders and have a continuous improvement program in place at all levels of our organization. Mm, nice. Uh, let's see uh, what the leadership yeah. looks like in Powers and Sons Company. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, very... That's oh, that's the buildings. Okay, let's see about... Let's about leadership. leadership. Okay, let's see what the leadership looks like at Powers and Sons. Okay. Okay. Look at these okay. Family team. All right. You look like you have uh, <laughs> twins or uh, brothers. <laughs> it's family. I could tell it's family. family. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look. <laughs> wow. Man and yeah. Powers Jr. Mm. CEO and the chairman of the board. All right. You got a uh, Claude Powers in the building. Man and Powers. It's a family operation. It's a family. family. Kelly it's Powers. A that's right. It's a family. It's a family it's a affair. Family affair. Family. <laughs> it's a family nice. affair. Nice. Amazing. All right. So here are some of the buildings that uh, they had their hands in building. Yes. Okay. So we got co corporate offices. Do y'all want to look at the corporate offices and see what they look like? Because sure. I believe this is like this. That's a, probably a lot. Uh, you know? Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Check out a few. All right. Oh, the Metropolitan Pier in uh, Ex Exposition Authority. Okay, let's yeah. see what this looks like up closer. Let's see if we have more pictures, hmm. things like that. Nice view. Yeah. Okay. Pictures. Oh, good. Okay. okay, that looks nice. All right, that's different. Nice. Okay. Let me see what this looks like. Wow. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, nice. nice. You're snazzy. Mm, yeah. Yeah, they got some snags to it. Creative. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see. All right, uh, all right, so those are the corporate buildings. The University of Chicago. Uh -oh. You can also got people. Which building well, is that? What are they doing? What are black Americans doing in Chicago? <laughs> all right. So amongst all the drugs and the guns being pushed in our neighborhoods, we still got brothers and sisters doing things like this, fam. Doing That's that right. Thing. Doing that thing. Thing. Big things. University Big of things. Chicago. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Harper Court, yeah, in this 11th floor. That's right, family. That's how we do it. That's how we right. do it. That's, that right. how, that's how they doing. You can't say you ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So we got cultural and Ooh, public works. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, that. That looks interesting. It looks like an amphitheater. Yeah. Okay, the city of Hammond. City of Whiting, mm -hmm. Indiana Convention Center. Let's see what okay. this looks like. Nice. I mean, let's just see what it looks like. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Convention Center's big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phase four, phase five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we see an expansion on that. It just feels good to see all of this excellence. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. You know, this creativity yeah. on yeah. the screen. You know, it's just so. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. The Indianapolis mm. International Airport. Wow. We got brothers and sisters out here who wow. have their hands in building airports out here. Mm. People don't even know these they things. They don't man. know it. They don't even know. Let me see what's going on here with the uh, International Airport. Mm. All right, look at that. Arrival departure roadway, okay. All right. All right. Nice. All right, so they constructed some of these terminals Ways. and yeah. the way the roadways. Yeah. You come out the parking lot areas and you got to uh, merge into the highways and things like that, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> just look at it. The building is real snazzy. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of wow factor to it. Mm -hmm. Like that. All right, so you had they build healthcare centers. I don't mm -hmm. know if we gonna go through mm -hmm. all of this, but I would say go to mm -hmm. powerandsons.com so you can check out all of these lovely buildings and you can also read up on like the history of the company and things like that. Definitely. Yeah, but they build uh, residential areas, churches. schools, religious churches. You know, if you got to have a, a, a big <laughs> mega church. <laughs> religious <Huh>? churches. <laughs> yeah, religious churches. You got some churches that ain't religious. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Religious churches. We're not going to do that. 
They build religious <laughs> churches, okay? Not the <laughs> churches. Know. You got people in there, they don't backsliding and things. <laughs> you see. Mm-hmm. All right, so here we also have, they build apartments. You know, you okay. got the Butler, Lennon, nice. Johnson apartments out there. The Chicago Housing Authority, okay? What they doing in Chicago? You got the Harvest <laughs> Home Apartments, the La Casa Notech. The uh, Legends. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't right. an R in there. It is. <laughs> it was an R, I see? It might be. I rolled the R. How about right. that? You rolled it, it could be right. <laughs> the Grant at Woodlawn, Woodlawn Park. Mm. Mm. The Rosenwald Court Apartment. Let's see what this looks like, man. She just looked like some of our brothers and sisters who watch us probably stay in these apartments. Mm. Yeah. Hit us in the comment sections if you stay in any of these apartments or you ever been to any of these buildings that we have on this uh, video, nice. family. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Look, Look at, at that. that. Ooh, nice. Stair, stair, stair. Look at that. Interesting. Man. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Can you read that? Go ahead. This is interesting. Known throughout the Midwest and across the U.S., Powers and Sons Construction is an award-winning firm specializing in general contracting, construction management, design build, and owners' representative projects that exceed client expectations. Mm. With three offices in Indiana and Illinois, we have completed over $1 billion in business since 1967. Wow. That's a bag. That's, that's a bad. Yeah, no, that's mm-hmm. deep. That's, that's a deep. bad. <laughs> well, all right. So, <laughs> all right. So we have a company called Aviro, and I believe this company is down there, like South Carolina-ish area. Let's mm-hmm. read about it and really find out. All right, the no, Enviro team. All right, and all right. my lovely wife can read this. All right, so the Enviro team consists of Dr. Lewis Lynn, who is the chairman. Company founder Dr. Lewis B. Lynn grew up in Darlington County before graduating from Clemson University. Yes, this is my is that, state. That's South Carolina? Oh. Is that South Carolina? Is that seat? Stop playing. Is that seat? I know that ain't that seat. <laughs> he has been a member of the Clemson University Board of Trustees since 1988 and continues to serve as adjunct professor of horticulture. Dr. Lynn is the director of the National Board of B. B&T Bank, mm. based in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, National Board Member of the American Horticulture Asso- uh, Society, National Board Member of the National Association of Minority Contractors, and serves as Commissioner on the South Carolina Workforce Development Board. Dr. Lynn has over 37 years of experience in mm. all aspects of landscape and construction activity, mm. from corporate office administration to project management. His talent to develop and implement project schedules is a major component in keeping complex projects on track. He has a proven record of taking projects from start to finish under budget and under time. Mm. Under his leadership, Enviro AgriScience, Agri- Science, sorry, okay. Incorporated is recognized for its commitment to social and civic responsibility. Nice. nice. That's that's wonderful. You know what? Just uh, I think you should read the CEO as well. <laughs> Dr. Crystal Connor. Yes. I think we got the read Another up part on of Dr. the Dr. Crystal Connor as well. Lovely you. sister Dr. Crystal Connor, CEO. That stands for Chief Executive Officer. That's right. Dr. Connor drives the tr- uh, Dr. Connor drives the strategic visions and goals for continued long-term growth. This includes spearheading the development of international joint ventures. Her travels have extended from Canada to Brazil and Ghana as she worked to expand the company's reach for domestic partnerships to global relationships. Mm. Before joining Enviro, Connor served as uh, Grady Health System's chief of pharmacy. During her five-year tenure at Grady, the administrator was responsible for the health system's pharmaceutical program, including oversight of pharmaceutical staff and development of policies and procedures that enforce the quality and safety of pharmacy services. Dr. Connor graduated cum laude from Mercer University with a doctor of pharmacy and a master of business administration degrees. Very smart sister. She earned a Bachelor of Science from Fort Fort Valley State University in 1999. While at FVSU, Connor was a um, cooperative development injured. Ooh, that's a lot. Connor was a cooperative developmental energy program scholar. Mm, That's a whole, that's a tongue twister. Wow. Let let me try to say that five times. Connor was a corporate development. Hold on. Cooperative. Connor was a cooperative development. 
Middle? <laughs> Connor was a cooperative developmental. I can't do it. Let me hear you. <laughs> Connor was a corporate developmental energy program scholar. <gasps> Oh, reading, 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 we're reading. All right, all right. Nice readers. All right, president of uh, Ada chapter of Delta Sigma Theta sorority, incorporated and volunteered for various campus campus initiatives such as Habitat for Humanity. Nice. and that's the CEO, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Right. Bye, Rob. So uh, we're going to check out some of the building. Or some of the work they do because they also do landscaping. I see, yes. and I see that underneath the the bold letters, you see what they actually do in these places. Nice. Yes, yeah, so in the River Nuclear Site, they do grounds maintenance there. It looks like they got some. They got some pretty decent equipment over here. If, yeah. I'm, if I'm, my eyes are serving me correctly, look at that. And that's a government facility, by the mm, way. They yes. cutting grass. Yeah, that looks fun to you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Atlanta Beltline plan team. Okay. Okay. Dang. Communications right. park, spirit communication. Construction, park. installation, and, and landscaping of the spirit communications park. Wow, design and design slash build for the University of South Carolina Colonial Life Basketball Arena. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's your neck of the woods, ain't it? Uh, hey, baby? That's my sister's alma mater, but yeah, mm, that's that's a, that's a okay. see. That's a see. Mm. All right. All right. Wow. Nice. nice. Oh, design, build, installation, landscaping for Benedict College. Okay. Wow. Mm, nice. Cool. Brad. All right. All right. Let's see the construction part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Got nothing to see what I man. Okay. 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 Nice. So it's basically, all right. Mm -hmm. So this is nice. They have nice, pristine buildings. You know. Um, Construction, government, okay. Yeah. The TASC warehouse, the Hilton Hotel. And Columbia Convention Center. Wow. Man. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, they have number two. Let's, let's see the second page. page. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Ranger Station. Ranger Station. Ranger Station. Ah. All right. All right. <clears throat> well. <laughs> okay, so this company right here is a company that's dear to my heart. It's called <laughs> McKeesack. McKeesack, I hope I said that right. But um, let's just go to the president and CEO of McKeesack, McKeesack, which as you can see is a sister family. That's right, a sister. Gotta let them know. Okay. President and CEO Cheryl McKeesack Daniel leads the firm with more than 30 years of experience in all phases of the construction industry and provides executive leadership for project implementation. <clears throat> she serves as principal in charge and project executive on numerous high profile projects, including major work in the commercial, healthcare, education and transportation sec sectors, and is actively involved in project oversight and management, ensuring that, di that diversity is implemented during each phase of project or program. Now this, this company actually been um, it's like five generations mm. this company. I believe it started in 1905. Wow. Uh, yeah, see, McKeesa is the oldest <clears throat> minority women-owned professional design and construction firm in the United States. Wow. Our mission, mm. vision, and core values support the standards of excellence established by our company's forefathers. Family. All right. All right, so this is the uh, front page of the website building a brain change for more than a hundred years. Wow, that's a long time. Now, a hundred years, hmm, that's interesting. Man, hmm. that's a long All time. right, and people want to say, we was just what? Okay, we were yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 and this company is based out of Philadelphia at this point, family. That's why it's so dear to my heart. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So yes. Cheryl McKees mm -hmm. McKissack, which I hope I'm saying that right, is the mm -hmm. president and CEO, and this is a quote, from the president and CEO of this company. Hmm. We believe that by being good listeners and understanding our clients, businesses, we ensure successful projects that not only create value for their organization, but also inspire people. That's right. right. I said also inspire people. Yes. Right. And look at this, the JFK. JFK. Moses, the first, comes to America as a slave from West Africa at 12 years old. All right, as an enslaved person, he learned how to build yeah, um, and mm -hmm. things like that. 
His knowledge and passion for building would pass on to the future Bakisak generations. Nice. Yeah. So they kept it going. So they kept mm-hmm. it going, family. Wow. They kept it going. So now, I'm excited mm. to see the kind of work they do here. Mm. You know? I'm excited to see to be in business this long. <clears throat> All right, so now on this site, you have different uh, things that they do. Academic aviation, commercial, diversity, healthcare, municipal, disaster, recovery, stadium and parks, wow. and transportation. Wow. Now we're going to go through a few of these. Wow. Um, let's see with academic. Let's see what we have in academic family. All right. Okay. Okay. So wow. you have the Cooney uh, Baruch building. College. College. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a renovation. Okay. School of Science <clears throat> and Health and Technology, oh, no. Mever Eggers College. This looks oh, I want to see what this too. looks like. This looks like. Look at this. Mm. All right. Look at this. Interesting. As the lead partner in a joint venture, McKeesack provided construction management service for the new academic science building at Mega Everest College. Right. All right, and that's in Brooklyn, New York. Nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Ooh, college Colleges. College School of Art, Temple University. Uh-oh. Okay. Yep. I got right. to go to this. Oh, now. Right. I got to go to this one. <laughs> the Tyler School of Art, Temple University. Yeah. Mm. Nice. All right. They were they building in Philly. <laughs> All right. As you can see, state of the <clears throat> art university. McKeesa mm-hmm. in a joint venture provided construction management services for the construction of a new state of the art facility for the Institution of Fine Arts. Huh? Instru- sorry. Instructions of Fine Arts. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. So that's academic family, um, healthcare, diversity. Which one y'all wanna go to? Uh, let me see stadium and parks. So, Ooh, okay. 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 Hey, Lincoln Financial Field. We got the uh, <laughs> Pier 57, the Billy Jean is not my lover, King National Tennis Center. Yeah. Right. Okay. We have the uh, hey. Lincoln Financial Field. Shout out to the Eagles. Phil- now, this Ooh. field is beautiful. Home of the Eagles. I actually <laughs> laid eyes on this field and I never knew. Uh huh. Never knew yeah. that brothers and sisters had their hands in doing this. I just didn't never thought of it. Had their hands all in it. I ain't never think of it. Yeah. Hey. As part of a tribe venture, McKees had provided construction management, construction management services for the new $350 million NFL dollar NFL stadium for the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm. Just, yeah. I, look, go to this site, McKeesack.com. And read up on all this family because yeah. this is amazing. Look, just look at the stadium. Yeah. Look! <laughs> Arts, all right. And then aviation uh, and this. Because okay. I know like mm. we we travel, so airports is like, yeah, you know, that's our thing. Yeah. Did they have anything to do with the Philadelphia the airport? The, the, what's that, JFK? I think they did. And I uh, look at Phil- that. International Airport Terminals D and E expansions. Oh. Let me see what this expansion looks like on here. That's an aerial view. Okay. Uh, I like my eye. All right. Okay. Different wings there. Okay, nice. we got some different wings. There's mm. the wife said. Mm. Nice. nice. All right. All right, so. <clears throat> McKeesay and a joint venture provided program management services from design through construction of the Philadelphia Terminal DNE expansion for the city of Philadelphia Division of Aviation. All right. Mm-hmm. $300 million project, family. Uh, and this is our last one we're going to do today. It's a lot more, yeah. but this is the last one we're going to do today, family. Nice. We're going to yeah. look at uh, the executive team. All right. Michael B. Russell. You see, this is Russell. Uh, I believe this is his construction firm. H.J. Russell & Company has grown, prospered, and been a learning laboratory for entrepreneurs for over 60 years. Mm. We're excited and energized about our future and continuing to be a value-added institution for our city of Atlanta and Oof. the country. All right. Now, that's the chief executive officer, Michael B. Russell. That's right. I don't know. That's right. And this must be the brothers. It's, this is like Ken right here. Strive yeah. to enhance the quality of life for human beings through sustainable and measurable economic empowerment. Better let them know. That's right. right. That's right. And you see it's multicultural. 
You yeah. know, it's multicultural. You know, it's nothing wrong with that thing. Yeah. All right, so wow. now this is serious right here. Wow. This is serious right here. Wow. We got the Langston Hughes High School in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. Yeah. Wow. The DFW Terminal, Ooh, Renovations Dallas. Improved, Dallas, Texas. Uh -oh. The Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture and I, in Washington, D.C. And I know thousands of people have been there, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if they know that. Yeah. Wow, this that's, is, that's something. Ain't it? That's this something. is, this is, take a gander at it and wow. see what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that design. It's mm. beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Okay. Okay. Look at that snake. Okay. Mm. 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 All right. Look at that. Is this water? What's right. that? What is that? Yeah. Oh, water. It's like a waterfall. Mm. Mm. Nice. Man. Nice. 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 I like the curvature yeah, of things, how curvy. you know, yeah, the yeah. curve and the walls, the different angles, mm -hmm. the way the light hits in, and I think the way they did the metal work, it lets the light flood in. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Very nice design. It's a beautiful museum. We got to go there. Wow, that was right. the same pictures going over and over. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, go there. That's nice. That's very nice. All oh, right, so we got the Smithsonian Museum, the, Ooh. the Center for Civil and Human Rights, Atlanta, Georgia, okay. the John Childs Middle School, the middle schools, and this right here. Oh, mm. wow. This right That's here. That's a monster right there. <laughs> the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Let's just take a gander and see Ugh. what this looks like. This, this stadium right here. Family. That's art. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying now? Wow. It was a joint venture, but they still had their hands in building this mm -hmm. family. They yeah. had their hands in building wow. uh, a lot of the stadium. Yeah. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. see look, for the second time around, H.J. Russell and Company has the honor of contributing to the building of major Atlanta attraction, the Falcon Stadium, as a member of the four partners joint venture team with Holder Construction. Man. Mm -hmm. Nice. A $1.5 billion dollar project. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at this. That thing is. <laughs> That's Look amazing. That's a retractable roof, by the way. It opens mm -hmm. and closes. Yeah. Nice. Man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. I think I think we can end it here. Family. Some technology. We never know. <laughs> I, I think we can end it here. Right. I mean, yeah. we can look and still see what else they did, they did, they built. But, but I think we can just leave it right here because mm -hmm. as you can see, mm -hmm. black Americans are not sitting on their behind, exactly. just twiddling their thumbs, doing right. nothing, family. Right. You don't we have the time to. Us. Exactly. When we yeah. say we build family, we build we family. Build. And if it's not physical mm. buildings such as this, it's yes. spiritual buildings. It's just right. bridges between yeah. people and, and, and things of that nature. Mm. You know, we build this family and, yeah. that, and that's just what it is. Everybody who got something to say and want to hate, keep on hating, fam. We just gonna keep doing what we do because we love what we do. Yeah, so we're not doing this to show, oh, look at us, we're so much better than everybody. No, wow. we just letting you know that we're builders, family. This is what we do. You know, wherever we go, we gonna get it jumping and pumping because that's what we do, family. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we can do it, we know that you could do it as well. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. And this just warms my heart because for us, this is all about empowering the next generation. That's right. Letting them know um, from which they've come. You know, so we uh -huh. we are builders. We are intelligent. Yes. We are, oh my goodness. There's so many wonderful things. Um, but just to see this, and this is only one sector. These are builders. This is construction. Mm -hmm. We have black banks and so many other things that we have going on in the mm -hmm. U.S. So to highlight that, and a lot, a lot of this stuff is like hidden and it's not highlighted. And we're trying to highlight it so you will see that we are doing big things. Yeah. That's right, Our family. people doing big things. That's right, family. In the U.S. Yeah. As you can see, <laughs> we got to jump in and pump it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I am shook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know none of this. Yeah. You would have never thought so many buildings I actually be knowing these. And I'm like, yeah. hey, what about that? Yes, yeah. and then being as black history, yeah. we are actually putting a spotlight on people who are still here doing amazing mm -hmm. work, That's you right. know? So, yeah. Yeah. hey. So you know what that is? What? This is history in the making. History in the making. History in the making. It's, 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 it's continuing. Mm -hmm. And um, so Ayla, as a teen, how do you feel after learning about these these companies and the, the wonderful projects that they have had their hands in? How do you feel? 
You drive a hard question now. <laughs> I mean, a wonderful question now. <laughs> I was gonna say you drive a car barking, uh, but that's not even like no, that doesn't that doesn't go with that. <laughs> but that's a yes, it's a good question. This is very inspiring. I'm what's crap? This is <laughs> very inspiring. I must say to know we you know built a lot of this stuff you know, and it lets me know I can do whatever I put my mind to. Yeah, yeah that's you true. know if they've done all of this with all we already have going on in the state. We still found a way. Yeah. Right. As we always Still have and away, always man. will. Find That's a way. Real. That's yeah. right, man. And that just inspired me to keep going and know nice. I got this. Yeah. Whatever right. I put my mind to, I can do because they did. Oh, nice. look at that. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Hey. So you children <laughs> out there yeah. from this generation, <laughs> figure out what it is you your heart is driving you to do. Yes. Your parents support your child. As long as it's something right now. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. As long as something goes going not to yeah. hurt them. Because yeah. 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 If it's something <laughs> good and you know it's positive, push your child to do it. Let them know. It's all right. Support them. You know? Yes. Let them know you got this. Yeah. You got yeah. this. And show your children this video, things we've shown you today. Let them know people mm. that look like them have done amazing things and have completed yeah. spectacular projects. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Shout out nice. to our family out there in America. We yes. love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the African diaspora. We love you. We appreciate you. You as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Together, we could be so much greater, family. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, we are unapologetic nomads, and we are unapologetically nomadic. nomadic. Thank you.